Welcome back everybody to the world famous mining show. I'm Peter Clausey with Investor Intel. And today we are blessed to have a new guest who I haven't met before. And your name, sir? Bobby Stewart. Welcome. Nice Thank to have you here. Nice to be here. Now, I did a little bit of research on your project and I will tell you, I was shocked. And one would think at 59, there's not much left to shock me anymore. You're working on a, on a gold copper porphyry in Jamaica. Yeah. So you're not going for the sand. You're not going for the food. You're going for the metals that are there. I'll tell you a funny story. I've actually been in hotels 30 years, so we've done the sand and the food. <laughs> and you're bored with that. Now you're doing this. Now we're doing this. Oh, what? So t tell us about it. How big is it? Where is it? What is it? So we basically started about five years ago and did a, a full regional campaign across the whole of the island of Jamaica. We did 40,000 assays across the island, built wow. a geochemical database, and then we put down a number of licenses. We have. Sir, I have to interrupt as I go. Yeah. Are there labs in Jamaica? No, we have to ship it all to Canada. Wow. It's all certified. Okay. So from that, we put down licenses as we went and we found good ground. And we currently have about 4,000 square kilometers of license wow. in Jamaica. That's huge. That's like half the island. It, no, it's less than half. Less than half. I'm not going for half. Well, I think that our hosts here are going to be putting up a map showing how much land you actually have. Yeah, yeah. And you showed me earlier, that's a really big portion. It, it is, it is. But the beauty is that we've got the, the best ground from the geochemical survey. And as we've gone across the island, we've made discoveries. And one of those discoveries was something we didn't expect in Jamaica, which is a rare earth deposit. And where's that? That is out in a parish called St. Elizabeth in the west right. end of the island. And it's about a hundred square kilometer anomaly. And you found that by drilling, looking for copper well, gold? If, no, we, we actually didn't predetermine what we were looking for. We actually just canvassed the whole island, 62 element as, as ICPMS, um, and stuff showed itself. So one of the things that showed itself was the rare earths. I find this interesting. Most projects either are at surface or there's a reason to be there. Yeah. This seems like we grab land, let's see what's there. What motivated no. you to do this? No, we we were very, very careful. We did not put one license down until after we had done the geochemical work. All the licenses we put down were based on the geochemical work. Why did you do the geochemical work? We wanted to find out what was there. Why? What, like, what started so, this? I'll tell you what, when I was a kid, uh, my grandmother took me on a little drive and we passed a, a landslide and there was a lot of pirate and I was convinced right. we were rich. You know, it was all <laughs> silver everywhere. And um, I got into hotels, but when, when I actually decided to change tracks, one of the things I wanted to do is I looked and said, why isn't there any mineral work in Jamaica? We have bauxite right. from the 50s, but we've never really had a company do a full scale campaign. There's been little bits here and there. Right, and there's that Canadian gold company that started yeah, doing yes, work yeah, six, yeah. seven, eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think uh, uh, it was Kruby at the time and they worked with us and did a lot of work and then the licenses got left and I think they're C3 now. Okay. And, um, but, but there has been some work, but there was never anything island-wide and comprehensive. And it's a big island. It's a big island. Yeah. Here you talk about a landslide. In uh, Canada, we joke that a prospector's two best friends were a forest fire. And a landslide. <laughs> or a, a, a forestry company digging a road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because that's how you, new that's how things you get exposed. Things, yeah. So I'm, I'm finding this fascinating. Um, what's the company called? It's called Geophysics Jamaica. It fools everybody because they think we're a service provider, but we're actually an exploration junior. What, you must have assays on the go all the time then. Yeah, it's not yeah. like we're waiting for. There's assays coming in yeah, all the every, time. Every week I'm checking my email to, to see what's coming into the database. So it's a lot of fun. It is. So what's next? So we have six or seven projects in the island. We just started drilling on Friday, three days ago, um, at a copper gold porphyry um, in the east end of the island. Okay. And that is, we're grading in the stuff that we've collected so far from the area, we're getting 23% copper in the rocks and we're getting 32 grams of gold. Those are so, insane numbers. And it's a two by two kilometer lithocap. So it looks very interesting. Um, but the rare earth discovery is something we never expected. 
and it just showed up in surface samples. We've done 44 drill holes over the area on the so rear far. Earth, on the, on the rear on the rear one. Yeah. So which, do you know which of the rear earths you have? Or? Uh, we've got 42% heavies, yeah. and we've got 58%. You did that uh, math lights. on the fly. That was yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it right. Yeah, I think. <laughs> We can round it off. Yeah, it's the rare earths, right? Nobody yeah. gets it right. But it's, it's a good distribution. Um, we've done some test work. We're going to do a little bit more work on concentration and separation. But the test work, we're getting 40% extraction. Well, you're here at the mining show with, that, with some of the world's experts on yeah. rare earths. Uh, great contacts to be made. Yeah. Uh, so you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think so. You're putting your team together, or are you fully built? Uh, no, we're we're a small company, so we're we're building up as we go. Um, as, as we make a discovery here or there, we know we need to do this or we need to work with this. And uh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun. It'll be good for the island. I think it'll be very good for Jamaica. Oh, it'll be great for tourism, yeah. be great for industry, be all kinds of reasons. Is the government giving you any help? Uh, the government is very supportive. Um, you know, I think that everybody knows that bauxite has a limited future. We've been so big in bauxite for many years, right. but there's not a lot of material left and time-wise. So it's good to have other industries that we can grow. It's fantastic. So it's a great story. Um, you know, being in the industry, I hear a lot of stories. A lot of them go in one ear and out the other. Yeah. This is one I'm going to follow. I'm very curious. I'm happy about. to hear that. Well, re <laughs> really, it's a really neat story. How it started and how it's going. Yeah. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Geo Ge Geophysics Jamaica. Geophysics Jamaica. Yeah. Well, Bobby, always good to make a new friend. Thank good you for your time. You. Thank you. Have a great day.